What an amazing introduction. I remember seeing this um, as part of the reveal before Doom Eternal released and I was just blown away by it. So awesome. Um, hi everyone, hope you're keeping well. I uh, just wanted to talk to you about uh, utilizing the microwave beam uh, more into your combat loop and how to best get the most out of it in battle. So depending on when you uh, hopped on to playing Doom Eternal, you might be familiar with the microwave beam uh, if you've been playing the Ancient Gods um, kind of DLCs just because of having to deal with spirits. But if you haven't been involved uh, with playing the, the DLCs, it might be that you haven't utilized it much in the campaign. So the microwave beam, similar to the destroyer blade, slows you down a little bit while you're using it. So the way that I think is the best way to integrate it into combat is to use it in short bursts. So use it as a way of freezing a demon in place for a split second, and then you follow up with your weapon of choice. So I'm going to play through the f only the, the first bit of Mars Core, we're on PS4 Nightmare, and I'm going to just try and demonstrate um, how to be able to utilize that so you're able to get the most out of it in combat. So freezing demon in place, follow up with the weapon of your choice. As you see there, so you're able to just combine it with whatever you want. Yeah? So we'll go up here, get some resources. There we go. So just remember that it can eat through ammo uh, quite a lot. So just keep on chainsawing regularly, but you should be doing that anyway. So we'll go through this stage here. So again, demon in place. Very, very powerful mod. There's nothing else apart from the ice bomb that allows you to keep demons in place in such a way. This is really, really, really uh, powerful in combat. Uh, gives you time to think, gives you time to position demons like you would want them to be uh, so they can receive other damage like I did there with the grenade. So for example, with the pinky here, we hold it in place, drop down a grenade, hold it in place so it can't escape, and then we can just dispatch it in that manner. I know that wasn't the most efficient way of getting rid of a pinky uh, because as you know you can just destroy it with a blood punch but I just want to overuse this mod and try and show you what it can do. So we'll go into this room now with a number of uh, imps. Okay, so in this next room, we're going to find a Baron. And this is where I think the microwave beam is really useful. When being in an arena or an area in which you're likely to come one-on-one -on -one with a bigger demon, uh, by allowing you to hold it in place, gives you a bit of time to think, but also gives you a chance to uh, let it receive the damage you want to give it without it going anywhere else. So in this case I'm going to be using um, the Ballista and I'm going to be using some grenades on the Baron. So there's the Baron. So hold it in place through a grenade. Hold it in place, make sure it doesn't run away. Hold it in place again, Ballista. Hold it in place again, Ballista. Hold it in place again, Ballista. Hold it in place again. Obviously, I'm overdoing it here. But as you can see, um, you can really keep uh, a demon at bay in that manner. Um, and especially in an arena like this, that's relatively small and compact, and you're likely to come across a bigger demon amongst some fodder, it's a great way in which to just give you a bit of space um, and an opportunity to just lay down some damage. Uh, at a distance. So we'll go into this slightly bigger arena here. I'm just going to overuse it again. I'd normally combine it with other weapons, but just for demonstration purposes. So one thing to remember as well is the length. 
it's almost similar to the meat hook or almost identical so don't forget the kind of reach it has it's, it's really really good Doing the splits there. <laughs> so I'm just going out of my way to utilize it as much as possible. So Kako Demon. You can cook it fully if you want. Obviously, as you can see there, how it kind of explodes in lots of different chunks. Get some more ammo. As you saw there, uh, what you can do with the microwave beam is also create um, almost like a link uh, of various demons being fried at the same time. So with a microwave beam, when you have it engaged and you have that line, uh, that, mo that beam between you and the demon, if there's any other demon that crosses in front of you and gets onto that beam, they will get cooked also. So what you can end up with is a, a microwave beam line in which multiple demons are getting fried, which is just fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Sounds great. So let's just go up here, hold these guys in place, throw down a grenade, make sure they all get it. And there we go. So Doom Eternal has got so much depth and so many options for a first person shooter. It's absolutely amazing the amount of uh, depth, I guess, and combinations you can explore. Um, it's, it's really really good so what I would definitely urge you is to not overlook uh, you know those mods like this one that at, at first maybe seem a bit cumbersome and a bit maybe that they don't fit into the idea of speed and mobility because it's all about utilizing it at the right time in the right place and in a certain way to give you um, as many options as possible so thanks again for watching Hope you start using the microwave beam a little bit more after seeing this video and I'll catch you all soon. Take care.